Hello and welcome to another Magnus and Scout video. In this video, I thought I'd talk about resource guarding. This is a behaviour you may have to deal with when you adopt a greyhound. Resource guarding is when your dog is overly protective of something. This could be their bed, their toys or more commonly their food. Some greyhounds are not good at sharing as they may have spent their early years on their own or had to compete for things when they were younger. Magnus was a big resource guarder when we first adopted him. Dogs that exhibit signs of resource guarding have major FOMO, fear of missing out. Resource guarding is when your dog feels they're about to lose something and takes actions to keep it. Signs of resource guarding can be subtle like a look or a turn of a head or more apparent signs like baring their teeth, growling, lunging, barking, biting or even fighting. Guarding resources is a natural behaviour for dogs. However, resource guarding becomes a problem if your dog is willing to bite or fight to keep an item. This is especially worrisome in a home with young children, elderly family members, or if the dog is not predictable in what they decide to guard. It will be your job to teach your dog that there is no need to fear things being taken away and there's no need to resource guard. And we take things away, other things will come in their place. One important step you can take when trying to prevent resource guarding is to let your dog eat and chew in peace. If your dog guards their food bowl or their food, set up a separate area where they can eat in peace and block this off perhaps with a gate or a door during meal times so that no one can approach the dog and that way they won't have the need to react. For Magnus, when we first got him, he would eat his breakfast in his crate by himself and that way we'd get ready in the mornings without interfering with him and he wouldn't feel threatened at all by us walking past his area because his own enclosed space. This is particularly important if you've got young children or elderly parents in the home who might not understand that you can't pet your dog during mealtimes if they have this resource guarding issue. So blocking off a separate feeding area is important and is also very, very helpful. For Magnus and Scout, we feed them separately at breakfast. So Magnus eats his breakfast in the living room, Scout in the kitchen. That way, neither interferes with the other's food when they're eating it. For mealtimes, they eat it together, but just for breakfast, they eat it separately. Treats again, they can eat them in the same room, but just anything with bones in it, we feed them in a separate area. That way there's no competition and Magnus doesn't exhibit any resource guarding signs and he can eat them in peace. If your dog is eating a long lasting tree or a bone, give these to them in their safe areas, but ensure that everyone in your home knows that the dog is enjoying a treat and that way they can leave them be. If you need to take the item away from your dog, always remember the rule to trade up. Always find a high value treat your dog loves more than the thing that are guarding. Usually things like chicken or hot dogs will work well. And learn the distance at which your dog begins to resource guard. Some dogs don't get possessive with their item until you're a few feet away and then they'll get tense. Others, you'll be in the same room and they get tense. Basically throw the treats to them and then eventually throw some away from the item you need to remove. And then once they're away from the actual item they're guarding, you can pick it up and remove it safely. This is not a long-term fix, however. So basically working on things like leave it training is a great idea to help break them off this resource guarding behavior. Both drop it and leave it training cues are important skills for all dogs to learn, especially those that struggle with resource guarding. Drop it means to let go of something that's already in their mouth or possession and leave it means to turn away from something that they're interested in. There's lots of different types of leave it training out there. There's lots of videos online and YouTube that you can find to learn different ways to do the leave it training. One that works for us is to have basically a treat in both hands. You have one hand behind your back with a treat in there and then one hand on display. You show this treat with the hand with a treat in it to the dog, they'll go for it. If they go towards it, you just close your hand up and say, leave it. You keep doing this. And whenever they back off from the hand, you give them a treat from the hand that's behind your back. Then again, you'll show the treat. If they go for it, you close your hand up and say, leave it. 
Probably as soon as they back off from the hand of the tree, you give them a treat from the other hand. Yeah, Eventually, get to the stage where you can yeah. have your hand open, they'll go towards it, and then maybe back off, and you can give them a treat. And eventually get to the yeah. stage where you can leave your hand open and they won't go for the treat at all. And when they basically stay away from it, you give them a treat from their hand and see if they get it. Magnus picked this up really quickly and is now really good and won't take treats until you say take it. Scout was a little bit slower take taking it. this on, but she didn't have any issues with resource guarding, so it wasn't quite as essential for her. I'll but now it. both will wait until it's told to take things before they take the actual food. This also applies to the evening meal. Make sure they wait and don't go for their food, for the bowls, until we say take it. Working to overcome resource guarding is not a quick process, but it is worthwhile. There's lots of videos and articles online that you can find that go into this in more detail. Not always Greyhound specific, but you can learn a lot of tips and tricks from these which you can use with your Greyhound. So I just wanted to show in this video that resource guarding is out there. Just to be aware of it and to be cognizant of this if you are adopting a dog, that your dog may have this behaviour and just to basically watch out for it and that way you don't have any accidents in the home. So I hope this video was useful. If you've got any comments, again, just add them down below and I'll answer them as best I can. But thanks for watching and we'll see you again shortly.